Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Fight Rock Academy. Today I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu on a MacBook using VMware Fusion. Whether you are diving into the Linux for the first time or setting up a virtual environment for development. This step, step guide will walk you through the entire process from downloading Ubuntu to configuring VMware Fusion. So if you are looking to expand your skills or explore Linux on your MacBook, stay tuned and uh, let's get started. First open up your favorite browser and search for download Ubuntu Live Server. Click on the link for, yeah, I will share the download link in the description below as well. Here you can see the download button for AMD version. However, since the MacBook uses ARM based architecture, we need to select an alternate architecture and then look for ARM and click on that link and the download then click on this download button. Although I have downloaded this Ubuntu live server already just for saving time. So that's how you can download this uh, Ubuntu server. And then from here you can see I have already downloaded this uh, Ubuntu live server. Once the file is downloaded just open up VMware Fusion. If this window doesn't come, uh, just you can directly go to the window and virtual machine library and then click on this plus icon and new. And here it he comes with this screen. Choose install for ISO image. Or you can drag your file directly into this window alternately let me double click as you can see here the file is already available here although you can use this button use another disk or disk image let's go to downloads and select this file here open and then continue Next, you will see the default settings for memory, networking, and device summary. These are configured automatically, but you can change them if necessary. Click finish. Then you can save it anywhere. And then as of now, I want to do some changes here. Just Click on this setting icon and from here you can update processors and memory. I am changing from 2 to 4 as this memory is sufficient. We close and also I want to update if you want to update hard disk that uh, then you can update disk size as well from here. So that's sufficient for me. So that's it from configuration perspective. Then just double click. And from here, from this screen, you can use arrow keys to move up and down. And if you want to come out of this screen and want to see the cursor, just press command and control. That's, that's how you can see your cursor here. Okay, so again click, click on try or install Ubuntu server, press enter. Now wait for a few seconds. And then you will see the option to select language. Press enter. And now here comes installer update available. If you want to update, just update. Uh, here I am updating to new installer. It will take just few minutes, a few seconds, I must say, based on, based on your network availability. 
and for keyboard configuration i'm just continuing with this configuration and uh, the type of installation is just ubuntu installation installation only then done for network configuration it would automatically pick up the network as you saw earlier as well from network configuration from the from the settings page done done from here as well you just have to done just continue and guided storage configuration here you can see here if i hover my cursor here you can see 20 gigs of memory allocated already uh, from the beginning itself i showed you that uh, i have allocated 20 gigs of memory so i'm continuing with this only now just done and i'm okay with this storage configuration if you want to you can update as well done you want or you want to continue yes and here just name your uh, Ubuntu Tech White Rock Academy server name as well that White Rock Academy and username just pick up any username as you like and then choose your password then use your arrow key and then done as you can see if you want to uh, select any of the option you can press spacebar and to remove just again press spacebar okay so i have skip this option for now i don't want to upgrade to ubuntu pro then continue and also not want to install ssh server done and also not want these features done now the kernel is getting installed so we just have to wait for a few seconds or minutes so once the installation part is done use your arrow key to select reboot now now press command control to come out of this screen and make sure after rebooting make sure to shut down the virtual machine and disconnect the cd dvd from here you can also disconnect the cd dvd means the iso iso image of ubuntu server or you can go to this setting icon and then cd dvd and uncheck that's it so from here you can verify that uh, the cd dvd or iso image is disconnected now click on this after starting the virtual machine just use your login credentials Username is robot and password. So here you can see that we have successful, successfully logged into our Ubuntu Live server. Next, we want to install the Ubuntu desktop version. Before that, just type sudo apt update. Where sudo prefix is, is used to access root privileges safely and uh, apt is a package manager. Here yeah. uh, I have been prompted to enter my password to ensure that only authorized user is proceeding with this. Here yeah. it's done. Now type this command as well and i will share this command in description as well upgrade plus y to confirm the installation after a few seconds 
once the update completes we just have to wait for a few seconds once the upgrade completes type another command sudo apt install ubuntu desktop press enter and press y to continue now wait for a couple of minutes for the installation to complete i will fast forward this part of video to save time once the installation is done we can verify that the Ubuntu desktop is installed. Here we can verify and see the message message indicating that the desktop is already the newest version. Let's reboot the system. Here we go, enter your password and here we have our welcome screen. That's it for installing Ubuntu on your MacBook using VMware Fusion. If you have any questions or run into issues during your installation feel free to reach out to me thank you so much